I want to talk to you tonight about mind games. Do y'all hear me tonight? Mind games. I want you to know this, that people that may be eaten up with ill intentions, they love to play mind games with the children of God. See, the devil knew in that garden that he was playing a mind game with Eve to convince her to put on what we call, put it on thick, to get her outside of the will of God. And so then we also have people in this dimension that put it on thick, pretending to love God just so they can have an opportunity to come into your life to get exactly what they want and to destroy your life. I want you to understand something, that the devil loves to play mind games. He loves to keep us second guessing ourselves. He loves to keep us full of doubt and worry and sadness and depression and anxiety, you name it. He loves for us to allow him to rent space in our mind, rent free. So I want you to know that thoughts are very spiritual, just like our words are very spiritual. And the enemy will use those mind games to get us to buy into a false idea of what our life is supposed to be. And he will use that, wrap our emotions into that. And then before you know it, we began to create that in our experience. I want you to know tonight that you are so powerful. You are more powerful than you can ever imagine. And I'm telling you right now that you are a strong tower that just stands beneath the strong tower of the Most High God. And it is the devil's job to confuse you in your mind. It is that narcissistic person's job to confuse you in your mind. It is that toxic person's job to confuse you in that in your mind, to play with your mind, to string you along, to give you false hope, to tell you lies, to manipulate you, to misuse you, to mentally and emotionally abuse you. I want you to know something too. Because when the devil get inside of somebody and they start messing around with your mind, to me, that's far worse than anything else. See, because if you put your hands on somebody, you can get somebody to come over there and get them folk up out of there if they put their hands on you. But a lot of times, evil beings won't put their hands on you, but they will make your life a living hell by mentally being low down and abusing you in your mental. See, it's the mental space where the devil wants that because he understands that that is where creation begins with you and the Most High God. And if he can push God out of the way and he can come through somebody to play with you, I want you to understand that there's no greater place that the devil likes to play with first than in your mind. Because he understands that if he can play with you in your mind long enough, that he can anchor a thought into your heart. And he knows if he can get your mind and your heart to agree on a lie that he is portraying in your life, then you will begin to produce fruit after its kind. I want to encourage someone tonight who may be experiencing this type of energy, this type of spirit where someone comes in and just disrupt your peace, disturbs your peace, play with you, play mind games with you, string you along, misuse you, lie to you, just be deceitful towards you. You don't have to put up with anything. I would rather be up in this bed at night and full of peace, love, hope, tranquility, surrender and the spirit of God than be in here with someone in my life that is making my life miserable.
Because I want you to understand this, that a lot of people are dealing with folks that want to sit up and play in their mind. A lot of people are dealing with people that want to sit up and gas like them. A lot of people are dealing with people that want to sit up and put them down. A lot of people are dealing with people that wants to give them backhanded compliments. A lot of people are dealing with people that want to take your self-esteem and drag you down. But the good news is, for many of us, we can identify a clown. It doesn't matter if you look normal. It doesn't matter if you have on a clown wig. It doesn't matter if you look like you, honey, belong in the circus. It doesn't matter if you are undercover, brother or sister. Because when you have the eyes of God activated inside of your soul, we can look at a clown and put the hammer of salvation on and know that you can't play with us. Think about that tonight. Do not allow anyone to be in your experience making it hell, messing around, using whatever they need to use to manipulate you and play mind games. I love you guys. Until the next video, peace. Good night.